Hi there, this is a new video uh, showing how to do Bing modeling in FreeCAD. Um, we are doing, we are modeling the Pavilion de Barcelona, the Miss Van, from Miss Van der Rohe. And uh, this is already, uh, I think, 13th video in this series. And in this one, we are going to export this model to IFC. So now I'm creating a site object. One of the important requirements of uh, IFC is that you have all a kind of structure. Here, what you remember, we did this uh, cut uh, to make the terrain. And now I have a proper terrain object. So I'm deleting the terrain group that we did. And the terrain object, it has a slot to attach a shape. This is what I did now. I used the shape we produced in another video as the terrain object of this site. So now this site uh, can display uh, a shape. And this site is also also a container so I'm making a building object now and um, putting all the contents all the groups we did uh, with all the objects of our building inside the building object and I'm doing all this because IFC requires to, to have a site at least one site per model and at least one building um, so if we don't do this, uh, the IFC exporter of FreeCAD will do it automatically. But it's better to do it ourselves. We can also make floors. Uh, and so this would behave like other uh, Bing applications where you always work in floors. But in FreeCAD it's not necessary. I just did want to show you how it works. But uh, it's perfectly doable to have just your objects inside a building so i'm now going to export and exporting to ifc in freecad is as simple as hitting the export button and there is basically nothing else to do of course there is a lot you can do to tweak this uh, this the, the advanced use of ifc i think is something will do in another video because it can go quite far. But basically, you want to export, you just export. There is nothing more than that. Here is our exported file. And I'm opening it now with IFC++, which is an open source IFC viewer that I quite like because it works on Linux as well. It's open source. And you see that uh, our world divisions were not exported. Uh, this is because it's not implemented yet in the FreeCAD exporter. One of these days I will try to find a way to do that because it's not natively supported. And you see that the structure is pretty correct. There is something in the roof that they don't show our, our slopes, but that might be the view a bit too complex for the viewer here. So I'm not sure it's a problem in the IFC file or in IFC++. So we'll try to open in other applications to see. Um, how it works, basically you see that each BIM object in FreeCAD has this IFC type. You can change it to just anything you want. Uh, so any BIM object in FreeCAD can have any IFC type. And the IFC attributes properties, they change depending on the IFC type. So you see that if it's something is a wall, you have a certain IFC attribute. If it's a structure, you have others, uh, and so forth. Um, so basically, any object can take any type. In the Beam Workbench, you also have this IFC Elements Manager, where you can bulk change the, the type, the IFC type of objects. In this case, there, there are probably many objects that don't have the right type, but it's fine for now. So we have our exported file, and I'm now going to test this IFC file in other BIM applications. So 
So I'm opening this IFC file in Revit. I have skipped this video because uh, importing takes quite a long, long time and it looks pretty correct the columns don't seem yeah the columns are off you see that they are offsetted this is a problem i saw quite a lot with with structural elements or the roofs are not correct either um, i have this happens when you have um structural elements that share the same uh, geometry and uh, there, there are quite a lot of ways to, to solve that in FreeCAD one of the ways is to change their type to undefined uh, if an object is undefined Revit doesn't try to apply some rules uh, on it I'm, th there are many ways that to solve this I haven't found the right way yet to, to make these columns uh, appear the right place um, but there are many workarounds so I'm trying to open up it in ArchiCAD as well just to see the difference I make the videos skip the long import time in both applications Here it goes. And here, let's try to zoom out. The columns are at the right places. So there is basically something that Revit does with those columns that I haven't found exactly the cause yet. Um, but likely the problem is not in the IFC file, but in the way Revit expects um, structural members. IFC is full of these things that each application uh, each application consider things uh, in a specific way, and you have really to know a little bit and deal with that. Uh, but there are always like workarounds to to make things work. Um, here again, the slabs are not correct, and there is something else. I see those windows at the back. They look different than the windows at the front here. And I'm not sure what happened here. It looks like a window. Some elements, apparently, I'm not sure these elements were identified as windows. So maybe this is something I did wrong in, in FreeCAD, probably. I left them with uh, undefined type or something like that. And so the other applications don't know how to how to deal with that. So uh, last thing to try, let's try to reopen our IFC file in FreeCAD. There are several ways you can import an IFC file in FreeCAD. Uh, if you go in preferences and IFC file options, you have several options. Here I took quite a fast one. You see that the, the slab is correctly recreated. So I don't know why the other application didn't like that. Uh, but it looks like it's correct in the FC file. So and that's it for this one.